Hi, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, sport and exercise psychology expert, here with today's mental toughness moment. And uh, if you're watching my my videos, often I am my own test tube, if you will. I, uh, I like to apply all the mental toughness tools I teach and share with others. I like to apply them to my own performance. And so today, there's quite a few <laughs> uh, mental toughness tools that I use, and I'm just going to share my story this morning. So I, I woke up. Uh, seven o'clock and my intention was to go and snowshoe up a mountain and the chairlift opens at 8:30, so I wanted to take the hour to climb up and then be the first one on the on the chairlift so I don't have to um, interact with any skiers but I was not into waking up at seven I was not motivated so this is what I did for myself to get motivated even though I love snowshoeing I, I just wasn't into it so I quickly tried my best did my best to shut off my brain and I threw on my um, one song that's been really pumping me up these days it's it's there it's waiting for me on my phone so all I have to do is muster up the courage to press play and then the song came on and then with the emotions that came with the song I was able to kind of get more into it so I got up and I got on the hill and I started doing my thing walking up and uh, obviously I'm walking forward but what I do is I walk 50 steps and then I turn around and I walk 50 steps backwards that's kind of my break and I turned around at one point and I saw someone behind me and I'm extremely competitive so my first reaction was a negative one was uh oh there's someone behind me and I felt myself getting a little nervous because I'm competitive and uh, I had to quickly use another mental toughness tool and turn that around and say, thank you, competitor. Thank you, opponent, for showing up today because now you're going to motivate me. You're going to help me to get motivated. You're going to push me to, to work harder. And then I had to use a third mental toughness tool, which is to block him out as best as I could and focus on my technical process goal, which is 100 steps forward, turn around 50 steps backward. He was always there. I could always see him, but I didn't make him the highlight or the center of my focus. Put him in the periphery, and I focused on my process goal. And then, as I'm continuing on, I looked up, and there was somebody else ahead of me. So now I'm even, you know, now i got the double whammy competition, and I want to beat the person in front of me. But again, thank you for showing up. Uh, you're going to push me to, to work a little bit even harder, if you will, but i got to bring my focus back. 100 steps forward, 50 steps backwards, 100 steps forward, 50 steps backward. And now I'm sure you're asking me, did I achieve my goal and beat my opponents? Well, I did not beat the person ahead of me. He was actually on skis. He was skinning up, so walking up the hill with skis on, and I was on snowshoes. A um, little bit different, but um, nonetheless, we stayed consistently. Our space between each other was consistent. Did I beat the person behind me? He actually took a different turn. I went straight up the hill, and he must have um, did, a, did a different tour. But um, So I don't know about that. But I use the mental toughness tools. First things first this morning, I needed to clear my head because I knew I, was, I could justify myself out of this exercise. So I immediately put on a song that's been working for me. And then I started to get focused. Uh, and then I had some competition. So I said thank you to my competition for showing up because you're going to only push me, motivate me to, to perform. And then I focused on my process goals, 100 steps forward, 50 steps backwards. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Try them out for yourself, and uh, I'm sure they will work to some extent. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the space provided. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.